Good afternoon, Cancer. Water signs. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing well. Have fun, but be careful with your drinking. Don't overly drink past your limit, loves. Because there's been a lot of energy about um, individuals having to be wise, okay? So, you have to be careful. Uh, also, what I'm picking up is be careful who's in your energy. Okay? Be careful who's in your energy. started yet <laughs> it's an ace of swords but i'm gonna put it back in the deck um even though spirit usually no i just um want you guys to see that when i ask a question and it pops out okay the ace of swords what do my character signs behind closed doors when it comes to my cancer signs Doors in regards to cancer signs. All right, cancers. I'm wondering what you guys are doing too now. I'm asking them in regards to what's being done behind closed doors in regards to the cancer signs, but I want to know what you guys are up to too. Because I'm picking up um having second thoughts about a business, starting a business, or and thoughts about which way to go in regards to starting a business, okay? Mm. Okay, that's the sun card. Okay. Hmm. Dealing with somebody very toxic. You know that they're toxic too. We make it so bad. <laughs> you think it's something you're gonna be having a um, could have just started a relationship with someone or a business. And I feel like your uh, business is gonna bring you a lot of abundance, but you're actually going to actually um, how should I say this? I feel like you're gonna could be meeting somebody um, business oriented as well. Some of you are in tune with someone that's very toxic. Some of you could have walked away from someone that was toxic also. Um, like this job that you decided or this uh, business, uh, you was contemplating about this business as well. But I, I keep picking up, um, wish fulfillment in regards to this business and someone that you're going to be in tune with I, I also feel like there's someone in your energy um that you're going to figure out is not good for you yeah somebody's in their head about a fire sign aries leo sagittarius someone could be making a decision about two lovers uh, they could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm. Yeah, somebody, uh, financial situation is about to change major. In a good way. <laughs> and I do believe this is the person that started a business. And it's ironic because I'm picking up a lot of individuals are uh, venturing out on their own. Wow, I don't know what's going on with people being in jail or going to jail or in your head also in regards to uh, an air sign, okay? Yeah, to the pinnacles. People who walked away from someone um, that was very toxic, I also am picking up um, that the person that you walked away from could have been gifting you a lot of uh, gifts and stuff, but it's something about them you kept picking up was very toxic about them. 
someone could be watching you and it could be this person um, that was gifting you a lot of uh, gifts and uh, giving you finances to take care of your bills. Yeah, someone could have uh, chose to walk away from their twin. And once they did that, or you will be uh, choosing to walk away from your twin. You're focusing on your uh, foundation. Pardon me, you guys. Let me pick up these cards. Um, you're choosing to focus more on your foundation. You're, here you go, see? I kept picking up Wish Fulfillment. Here go to Star. Someone may be moving. You could be moving with a um, air sign, moving in with the air sign. Somebody could be going through a rebirth or learning about a rebirth, um, learning about some gifts that you uh, that have enhanced for you. Yeah, he go to Ace of Pentacles also. New beginnings. Uh, birthing new foundations for yourself, a legacy for you and your family, doing research about a new business, someone has a new love coming through, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself, a water sign, Cancerians, <laughs> someone's um, in a relationship with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <clears throat> In, in regards to the relationship, I do feel that this person is very grounded um, in regards to finances as well. But this person, it's like, um, it's something about your exterior uh, physique. They're not really interested in you. They're not even giving you the attention that you desire. I feel like in a relationship, the only thing you feel is ba balanced is the finances. Um, but they're not emotionally attached to you. They're, um, how should I say it? They're very cold, but they love to take care of you. I feel like they could be just stringing you along. And this is some type of cycle you have to go through. I, I do feel like you're going to walk away from this fire sign, though. You're going to choose to walk away from this person or you're thinking about doing so. Anything else in regards to my Cancerians? Whoa, okay. Yeah, you in a lot of despair in regards to this. Um, some of you are attached to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like there's someone coming to you because I have the Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords. And usually when I get the Knight of Swords, it's, um, I pick up that it's someone that either you were with that you chose to walk away from. They could have cheated. Um, and I'm picking up somebody cheated with a sister. Cancer and someone cheated. Either you cheated with your lover's sister or your lover cheated with your sister. Somebody's gonna have a, a great deal of overflow of a, uh, abundance coming through. It could be with a earth sign. And this person that's coming towards you is very well off. They have their own business. Could have multiple businesses because spirit just um, had me look back at the word pinnacles and guided me to the S, meaning, you know, this person has uh, multiple businesses and um, I'm feeling like three <laughs> and they're very, very prosperous businesses. Okay. I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody coming towards you guys, but they have a lot of baggage is what I'm feeling. Whoever this um, person is, they have a lot of baggage. In regards to um, somebody trying to uh, walk away from someone, they could have put you in a third party situation for some of you as well. Mm -hmm. And some of you have someone coming uh, towards you that would really want to um, birth something new, a new relationship, a new relationship. So I'm feeling like this is somebody you've dealt with in the past. Yeah, a lot of you are focusing on your um, finances. Some of you don't even want to actually deal with anyone. You don't even want to deal with anyone. Because I feel like you keep feeling like this, this person um, is always in some type of king of wine energy. You know, they pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out, and they think it's cool. But you don't want to even address it 
or even entertain a thought anymore. A lot of you are going to have um, multiple options in regards to businesses too, Cancers. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are cutting people off. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're cutting people off because you're tired of people um, getting with you, but they be on something else. They'll say they want to um, actually be in a relationship, but they get into a relationship, have you fall for them. And you guys, relationship you seem as though it's, it's balanced, but you keep finding yourself finding out that they're entertaining other people. And it could be for, uh, via social media flirting. Some of you have a soulmate coming through. Some of you could be saving to start a business. I'm here in clothing line. Okay, some of you could have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius coming through that want to give you some clarity. Mm. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm picking up this. One of your ex-lovers or some of you that are in a relationship, you're going to find out um, that your lover got somebody pregnant. And this person is going to come towards you. And your lover's been sending this person uh, finances through Zelle is what I'm hearing. So you may want to check their phone. Of course, their Zelle is attached to their phone. You go into the history, you're going to see who they've been sending money to. And they flip-flop between the Zelle and the cash app. So that's what spirit is telling me, the, uh, the Zale and the cash up. They've been sending funds to this person because they assume that this person was actually going to get a um, abortion. The person was, but they, cho they chose not to because um, they feel like the, it's not the child's fault um, because they, was, they were using protection. Um, but what I'm hearing is that the, the condom broke. And it's ironic because your lover uh, put on two condoms too. And this is something that they may be doing with you so you'll know it resonate with you is what spirit is showing me and telling me um they put on it was some type of lamb skin because your 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 uh partner um is allergic to uh latex yeah and this woman she didn't even know you guys were in a relationship your partner didn't tell them so they didn't know so they're gonna they're gonna find out what your number is too and reach out to you and I feel it shortly after you view this video and you actually go to your partner's phone and look at both the Cash App and the Zelle, you're going to see that it resonated with you. But this person, before you even reach out to them, that person may reach out to you because somebody told this person that your lover actually, you and your lover are together and they feel devastated that this person lied to them. But they're still going to keep the baby because it's not, they feel like it's not the baby's fault. Your lover was leading them more on Cancerians. Yeah, and this person finna be out for blood. Oh, they ready to kick your lover's ass for being deceitful, okay? And don't get mad at this person because it's not their fault. They weren't, they was not advised that you guys were together until now, okay? Some of you Cancerians have a copycat in your midst, some snake energy in your midst. That's a lot going around. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. A lot of you got people that send your energy that's putting on a facade um, because they know that you're about to rise up in regards to your business. A lot of you people got individuals. Um, a lot of you are struggling with someone, um, a fire sign who broke your heart. A lot of you have some also some people that are throwing shades. They could be doing, um, uh, what are you, spreading rumors? about you in regards to your business so your business can um fall i'm picking up this is a okay this is a karmic for those of you who are not with your lover and you know you have a twin flame and they're with a karmic this is a karmic they're doing it her and her little friends or him and his little friends <clears throat> some of you could be struggling with your mental stability cancerians you have someone that's in your energy that's very upset and they are mentally unstable anything else in regards to my water sign cancerians what's being done behind closed doors for my water signs cancerians mm -hmm. yep they're gonna copycat somebody's trying to actually Im imitate everything about you could be somebody who plays victim a lot can you guys see that 
Somebody who plays victim and always whining. They can be like, oh, I'm so sick. Oh my God, my head. Somebody that wants you to cater to them. Um, you can have Taurus in your chart. Oh, somebody's lurking on you guys' page. I also feel like somebody's literally lurking around your home too. Somebody's good karma is coming. That's how you're meeting your soulmate. And your soul may know who you are. They're looking on your page. They'll be watching your every move. But not in a bad way. They're just trying to get to <laughs> that. Let me make sure. They, I say that right. They're lurking, but they're lurking to try to get to know you before they reach out to you. Because I feel like their guys let them know who you are. And you just could have found out who they are too. Um, also, you guys have some type of narcissist in your energy um, with mental issues. It could be you, Cancerians. Someone's going crazy over a breakup. Be careful. I feel like somebody's trying to tap into someone's um, accounts. I don't know what's going on with that. Look at that, see? Tap into someone's account. They're going to hack someone's account. It's to steal some funds. Could be uh, your social media, too. Oh, wow. Spirit just told me that someone's going to tap into your phone. Send themselves money from out of your account. I bet that's some. Yeah, see? Somebody's going to make up a fake account. <laughs> Wee, the things people do these days. Somebody likes to play some type of game. Which, oh, all okay. right. As soon as I slap that down. Oh, wow. Cancerians, be careful because somebody's going to threaten you. They're so focused on you. It's like they, it's like a somebody has a picture of one of you Cancerians and they're throwing darts at it. Somebody has a voodoo doll. Cancerian, this could be you, and this could be you that's throwing a dart at someone. You literally have somebody's uh, page up, and I see the dart is black, <clears throat> but it has the red, uh, what you call it, like the little flare part at the end. Uh, this person could have lied on you, or you lied on someone and they found out. You're constantly throwing shade on someone or someone's throwing shade on you. And it's a lot of gossip. A lot of gossip and trickery. See, here for a fight here. Someone wants to fight, literally fight you, physically fight you. And some, whoever this person is, is doing some type of magic. They're doing magic, okay? What is going on with my soul's horse? In regards to my Syrian water signs. Now, what's going on with my uh, cancer and water signs behind closed doors? <clears throat> Is there anything my cancerians need to know? Is there anything my cancerians need to know about what's been done behind closed doors? Someone's going to have a disturbance, okay? Some type of disturbance in your neighborhood or in your building. Some residential building. It's going to be a major disturbance where the police have to be called. Some of you, it's a friend. They're literally going to have a mask on when it comes to your place of employment or your place of residence. <clears throat> some of you Cancerians could be actually putting on some type of facade via social media. What else is being done behind closed doors in regards to my Cancerians? Thank you. <clears throat> someone's gonna have some type of communication you guys be careful <clears throat> when you're meeting people via social media because i'm picking up someone actually is gonna have to move you're gonna meet someone and i feel like someone um is gonna communicate or send you a text and you're gonna meet with this person but i'm being told to tell you guys to be careful this person is more sexually attracted to you because of your physique. They're obsessed. And I'm feeling like this person could try and hurt you. It's something wrong with them. That's what I'm picking up. Like the boundaries are going to be crossed. Like I feel like this person has a way of getting an assistant to find out where you live at. And for some reason, some of you are um, like a social media guru. Like you tell everywhere you go. And I feel like your um, location is on your phone and you're going to interact with this person. And, and there's some, it's like they're a tech or some sort or they uh, 
cool with someone who's a tech and they're going to find out <clears throat> where you're moving. Like when I say moving, I mean moving as in each time you go from like a food place to sit down and eat or each time you go over to a friend's or a family member's house, they're tracking you and they're going to meet up where you are. But you need to be careful because this person is not stable. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See, take up the statements. <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be some type of unexpected drama. Uh, some of you Cancerians will be asking someone to marry you or you are will be the one on that's proposed to. Anything else? Uh -oh. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So when I got this, this uh, abuse card, um... It's showing me that someone's going to be physically abusive to you and emotionally abusive to you. There's going to be some type of conflict. This is the second one that came out in regards to physical attack. Sensual. You're going to go on a, some, what are some of you going to go on a date with someone you just met? And it's going to, it's going to get um, escalated to some type of argument and then a fight. And I feel like the feminine energy is going to be all in this masculine energy face. Oh, they don't like that at all. It's something that happened to them when they were a child. Someone used to do that to them and it, it really makes them angry. Um, and it's like their perception of you is off. I'm also feeling like, <clears throat> I don't know, somebody's gonna break in someone's home. And that's weird because I, I received a vision about that this early, early this morning. Somebody's going to break in someone's home, steal some underwear. And then another time they're going to come into someone's home and they have to hide. And you, I'm picking up, you go into the restroom, you come out, you walk out. <clears throat> you feel someone behind you and you turn around and that person's in your home. Okay, what else in regards to my cancerians? What's being done behind closed doors? Somebody's watching you guys. Like literally watching you. Could be from your laptop. It could have, it could be an owner. I'm hearing somebody's um building manager or what do they call them, gentlemen or women that um it's like the care care. The, I'm trying to think of the name. The person that upkeeps like if there's breakages, I see somebody in some type of combat boots. Combat boots who keep up the grounds and will come in your home and they're like actually checking your place out. You annoy them because I feel like you have something going on with your kitchen sink, a leakage, or some type of drip. And this person, pay attention to the person. They're gonna come through your back door when they usually come through your front door. It's like they're checking everything out. I'm feeling like what spirits telling me they're gonna um use a spill like oh i decided to come to your back door instead because you know i'm coming to your kitchen so i'm gonna have to mess up your your carpet or something like that it, it, it's some type of ploy to pay attention to something be, oh my god be careful watch them don't walk away because you usually let them do what they do and give them the space no stay in there act like you eating on snacking on something um like have some type of conversation because I feel like this person know you're going to, well, keep, they're assuming that you're going to walk away and they're going to do something to your door so that they can just open your door from the outside when they want to. Even though you have a screen on it, they can get through the screen. What else is going on with my Cancerians? Some of you are very exhausted mentally. You got a lot on your mind. Some of you doing uh, tarot reading or watching a lot of tarot. <clears throat> Yep, here go this fight again. It's the third one, you guys. Yeah, that's going to be some type of conflict. Yeah, a lot of you is um, doing a lot of introspection in regards to what you want to do, what you want out of life. Okay? And there's it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, how else are you going to figure out what you want? <laughs> Let's see what else is going on, you guys. Let's get another day. Okay, let me get these here. <clears throat> Uh-oh. What is going on in regards to my Cancerian water signs? What is being done behind closed doors? And what is going on? Okay, 
Cancerians doing? What am I Cancerians doing? Whoa, okay. Yeah. Some type of message is going to be coming through, but I feel like it's a message of concern. So, what is a message, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Wow, look, you guys. When that fell out, the Spirit told me to look at the bottom. Message of concern. So, you guys are going to receive a message. It could be via social media, but it, all it also can be some type of mail because with the mail, uh, message of concern, the young lady is holding a mail, an envelope in, in regards to the message as well. Here, I'll pick this up and let you guys see. Message of concern as well. So it could be in regards to someone um, that could be doing something to you or someone that doesn't want to be um, identified. They're going to send you something. Because I feel like it's something about someone that's in your energy and this person didn't know how to tell you. So they're actually sending something that's anonymous to let you know what's really going on behind closed doors. Okay. Yeah, see, another one concerned. So this is going to be somebody that they're going to tell you is a false person. Could be somebody at your place of employment. Could, could be for some of you male individuals or same sex. Um, it's somebody who could be just using you for financial reasons. Okay. Could be somebody that lives with you or that you're married to have some type of legal obligations to could be somebody that that you guys allow to uh, come and live in your home i'm picking up this is a male energy a male energy as well and i feel like you're a very mature individual <clears throat> Somebody could be letting you know about a child. Could be your child. They could have done something, stole something is what I'm feeling. You could have kicked them out and you allowed them to come back to your home. I feel like somebody's child also is doing something underhanded to get back at you. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, they're doing, look, it just fell out on, the house just fell out on the child. One of your um, children that you could have thrown out and let them come back to sleep overnight, they're going to do something to your house and you're going to have to call the authorities. I, I keep feeling busting your windows, your, your windows, your windows are being busted. They're going to be busted. And you're ill yourself. Somebody's ill. I'm picking up one of you cancerians are ill. <clears throat> Anything else for my cancer and water size? Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. You guys, I have, I, I have to tell you this. I mean, I feel like someone's on some type of journey. You're going to be receiving some messages um, to enlighten what you're going through. And someone's child is trying to harm them where you... Um, you either came into to some unexpected funds or will be and your child knows about this and for some of you it's, a, it's your wife or your husband that knows about this but I feel like somebody I'm sorry to say somebody could be trying to poison you guys okay because they're expecting oh lord this is sad somebody's expecting a payout um, if they were to murder you, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, somebody's expecting you could have just got a, a life insurance for over a million dollars. You'll know it's you. If I were you, I would change that because um, oh, wow. You guys need to be careful who you're getting life insurance on yourself for. If someone's so adamant about getting life insurance, um, in regards to um, purchasing life insurance for you, and they just got with you, and you guys haven't even been together a month, is what I'm hearing. You need to be weary of that. <clears throat> I feel like this person is after some type of big payout, but spirits keep telling me it's a payout of a million dollars. Some type of life insurance. And I feel like this person is setting you up to be uh, poison or they're going to be feeding you something. This could be a male energy that loves to cook. And they're putting poison. I'm hearing rat, rat poison in your food. And you're going to taste something. 
And you can like, oh, babe, this is good, but it tastes different. And here we have the thief. Ooh, Lord. I don't know the things people do. And oh, Lord. They could be feeding you and putting your food. Listen, look at this. Lord Jesus, this is ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> wow. You guys, I'm sorry to say this, but <clears throat> if you just met someone less than a month ago, you allow this person to move in with you. I'm hearing this person just got out of prison, okay? This person just got out of prison. <clears throat> um, Spirit is telling me that this person just got out of prison. You move them into your home and you have a child. I'm hearing a little girl for some and a little boy for another. This person, something's wrong with, they're off, okay? And the energy that I'm picking up is that this person loves to cook. And they used to tell you they used to love to cook um, for the crew. They use the word crew. They love to cook for the crew when they were in prison. And they are indeed a good cook. They want to go to school to become a cook. <clears throat> but this person somehow started talking about um, getting insurance. And that they know someone with a hookup so you guys won't have to pay a lot. They in cahoots with this person. Now, they're going to tell you to get a million dollar life insurance policy just in case something happened. And then they're going to be like, well, babe, you can do one for me too. <clears throat> the thing is, whoever this person that they're in cahoots with that's in the insurance company, what they're going to do is you're going to think it's a thousand. I mean, I'm sorry. You're going to think it's a million. Oh, a thousand for some of you. A million. Um, okay. Spirit said they're going to say somebody's going to say something about a thousand. I don't know if that's going to be you. It's like you made a joke about a thousand dollars, and then a person say, "Babe, stop playing. This is serious." And then that person gonna say, "Let's do it for a million. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna sign paperwork. They're gonna do paperwork for themselves too. But what's gonna happen is the person that they're in the click with, that that insurance company, that person is gonna change it to five million dollars. And then when they do that, the paperwork is gonna come to the house, and you're actually gonna see it by accident. And you can be like, what the fuck? Wait a minute, that wasn't our agreement, $5 million. And the thing is, you're paying for it. It's coming out of your uh, uh, checking account. I don't know what's going on with Zelle, but you know, I guess everybody has Zelle. So this person is actually just literally trying to uh, steal from you. They could be stealing your jewelry and you thinking it's a family member, but it's not, it's your lover. And look at Coffin. They're trying to uh, murder you. <clears throat> and this person, no, and I feel like this person... They could be telling this, um, telling you that the person that's in insurance, uh, that's what the, that's going to give you guys the hookup with the insurance. That person they're sleeping with, okay. Oh, see, look, I just picked this deck up and it's a manipulation. Wow, yeah, y'all have to be careful. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. A lot of y'all are so into y'all emotions, and you want somebody to lay up with, and you know that these people that's in prison. <clears throat> These people are in prison. You be feeling like, well, you know, um, they in jail. They need somewhere to stay. I'm going to let them come stay with me so they can be on probation. I ain't got to worry about them going nowhere. They're going to give me the deed and all that stuff. And honey, bye. Y'all better wake the fuck up and stop having um such low self-esteem about yourselves. You know, um, a lot of these people that's in prison just be using y'all just to lay up, have somewhere to lay up. Have somebody that they can fuck and, and you guys, uh, I'm going to keep be honest, sucking their dick and you women eating y'all pussy and all that stuff. Y'all better wake the fuck up because a lot of them, all of them, to me, all they ass use y'all. And y'all fall for that shit. Y'all being used is what I'm telling you. You're being used. Okay? You're just being manipulated. And they don't, they all empty inside. They don't care nothing about y'all. They have two and women on the side. Men and women on the side, they don't want to be with you. They're using you. They're using you. And I keep seeing this emptiness card. They don't even want to be with you. They have no feelings for you. No feelings whatsoever, okay? Let me switch around. Can you give me some juice in regards to what's being done behind closed doors and regards to my water signs? Thank you. It just breaks my heart how people are so gullible when it comes to people in prison. I don't know what makes y'all think they're going to be so honest. But yeah, see, this person is very ruthless. They're misguiding you. See, it's a void in their heart and you can't change nothing. And it's like you're going to be in a great deal of pain. You see that? You're going to be in a great deal of pain because of what this person is doing to you. 
Yeah, they're misguiding you. And they, they're a master manipulator. They are master manipulator. And you were sending this person money too to put on their books. But they had somebody else sending them money too. Some of them married. What else is being done behind closed doors in regards to my Cancer and Water Sign Spirit? Thank you so much. What else is being done behind closed doors in regards to my Cancer and Water Sign Spirit? Thank you so much. Somebody has a baby coming too. One of you Cancerians have a baby on the way. Some of you adopting a baby. I'm hearing it's going to be a baby girl and some of you are going to have a set of twins. Some of you could be distant from a lover that you're attracted to. You know that this person is married. Stop messing with these married people, y'all. That shit gonna come back on you. I don't care if they decide to come and be with you. What you think is gonna happen? How you get them is how you gonna lose them. You see this? Cold hearted secondary. Yeah, you gonna be cold hearted motherfuckers, but y'all ass is gonna um, reap what you sow. <clears throat> I mean, and it's not gonna last. And you gonna find out you you were second anyway. They, they was either married with somebody or in some type of commitment with somebody. But they would dip with your ass, but you 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 just a piece of ass. You you like secondary. They don't care. It's like they treat you how you allow them to treat you. And if that's like a whore, then I'm gonna call it like it is. You're so blinded by some piece of dick. Like, are you serious? There's too many men out here that would give you the juice. And you you actually keeping quiet and you being warned. Walk away from that shit. They're just using you for your body. Look at this. You see this woman? It's like she's ashamed of herself, but she's, she feels unlovable. Leave these people alone, y'all. Stop messing around with these married individual people that have somebody. I don't care if they tell y'all asses. Because I'm, I'm feeling like somebody met somebody, and your ass is going to be scorned. You met somebody, and this person feeding you illusions, telling you, oh, we having a hard time, um, she or she pregnant, or if it's a man, um, they saying that they have too much assets with somebody. Y'all, come on now. Stop feeding into that bullshit. Yeah, it's like you you just don't see it. What, what, and you guys are very intelligent, okay? It's like y'all want some dick that bad and some of y'all want some, some pussy that bad. Y'all just don't care, okay? I don't get it. I don't get it. I am not going to entertain somebody who is married. I don't care if they fucking separated. No, don't believe in that shit because most, most of the motherfuckers go back to the motherfuckers anyway. I don't care if they was abusive or whatever and they go right back to them and you're going to be left there. No, keep it moving. Keep it pushing. And y'all supposed to be focusing on y'all pinnacles. Fuck these motherfuckers. Like, stop letting them use y'all. That, that just breaks my heart, man. Yeah, some of y'all finna move in with an ex. Because this person is financially stable. And I feel like a, a, an ex finna come to you, even though they're financially stable, they have nowhere else to go because they left someone else. Who is deceitful? And I feel like you guys are gonna open your doors and welcome them. And they could have their own business or a business with their former lover. You guys could be coming up and thinking of a business to um, venture out on together too. Yeah, this person walked away from someone. Um, I feel like this is an ex-lover. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But they they very well endowed when it comes to starting businesses. Like um, they could have went to school um, to become an accountant. And they're, they're very, very strategic in doing things of that nature when it comes to financial um, businesses, how to start it up, what companies to network with. Cancerians, but I feel like you guys are going to start a business. Cancerians, you guys are going to start a business, okay? And it's going to be very prosperous. But what that person is going to tell you, do let me get this divorce from this person or sever all ties with this person because the person may actually, a Taurus, may actually try to see if y'all going to do something so they can snatch hair from what y'all have. So they're going to be smart about it. So a lot of them have space to do what they're going to do. I feel like, yeah, this is an ex-lover. Yeah, you guys are going to grow a lot. Because he got the Seven of Pentacles. And when I get the Seven of Pentacles, this is somebody actually warding a great deal of seeds in regards to multiple business streams. Okay? Anything else for my Cancerian? Anything else for my Cancerian? Okay, thank you.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see you guys gonna be working very hard. And I feel like you're gonna uh, start multiple business, multiple businesses. Yeah, they coming in. They're gonna be honest. But it's something I feel like they're gonna be deceitful about. They're gonna be honest about wanting to work with you, honest about being kicked out or walking away from someone who they found broke their heart or who they found was actually entertaining another individual. They're actually going to give you, um, they're going to be like, well, you know, I can pay your rent. What is it? Um, I'm here for six months um, and we can go on some type of, um, uh, what do you call it? We can do some type of business plan or some type of contract where y'all have to have it notarized where a person has to stay that. So you want to kick that person out. They want to make sure that you're not going to kick them out so that they can uh, do what they need to do. But I feel like you're going to catch feelings for this person again, and but it's going to be one-sided. They, uh, What I'm feeling is that I feel like you broke this person's heart in the past. You were more dependent on them, like a codependent relationship. And they were dependent on you in regards to emotional-wise, emotional stability. But they wouldn't come in and help because they need they need somewhere to lay their head. And I feel like you have a two-bedroom or something like that. And you're not using the other bedroom for anything. And that's ironic because I'm feeling like you use that room. Um, like there's no bed or anything in there. They're going to buy their own bed and everything that they need. And you're going to tell them that it's okay. You know, give them a key, what have you, whatever. Um, and they're willing to pay um, the rent for six months. And you're they're going to say, well, if you're okay with it, let's just agree I'll pay the rent for six months. That way we don't have to worry about the rent and you just paid, uh, what do you call them? The utilities. Yeah, they saved up a nice amount of money to start a business. And they would love to start a business with you. Because I feel like y'all spoke about starting a business when y'all were uh, dealing years ago. Hmm. Let me see. What else? Oh, oh dang. Okay. Oh, this one went down there because it's, yeah. That was the Six of Swords. When I get the Six of Swords... Oh, you guys gonna birth something really big, honey. I feel like somebody's gonna birth a, 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 a um a cream line, some type of facial cream or body cream or something like that that everyone can use. It's something for the skin. Could be something for the hair and the feet as well. But you gonna it's gonna be natural herbs. You could be uh, thinking about doing this now. Something with dandelions in it is what spirit showing me. Dandelions. But it's natural herbs. Natural herbs. And if you're spiritual people, it's something to cleanse a person too. But you got, and some of you cancerians have somebody very sneaky in your energy. They're doing something behind closed doors to you. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some type of loop work. A lot of people doing this stuff. I don't know what they are wrong with Yeah, somebody going to have some type of clarity and, and some of you are really in your head about what it is that you want to do. But you're going to have stability coming in. It's whoever this person is. Because I have the Knight of Pentacles. This, to me, when I get the Knight of Pentacles, it's somebody that's uh, stable and they want to bring this, this stability into um, with you as well. Yeah, your ships are coming in, Cancerians. And it's like it's coming in one at a time. <laughs> oh, that came out. Oh, oh. Well, that's for my cancer is the word of science. Yep. And this person's going to apologize to you, even though they didn't do nothing. But in some of you cancer you're going to get an apology for someone. It could be a word of sign as well. It could be another fellow cancer but I'm picking a word of sign. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Somebody wish fulfillment is coming in, baby. I don't know what you wish to kind of start, but it's coming through. Cancerian. You were very emotional about something, about a loss. Yeah, some, you guys have a lot of beginnings coming in in finances. Love. I'm picking up love. I'm picking up the Ace of Cups, and I thought I had that. Let me see. 
Ooh, yeah, y'all got somebody strong. Some type of fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in. They're a master uh, magician. They know how to manifest shit in. And some of you Cancerians are masters in uh, doing whether it's some type of candle work. Or I'm picking up working with fire. <laughs> some of you got to make a decision about a fire sign. And someone, um, if you want to leave somebody alone who's done something bad to you is what I'm picking up to. Yeah, somebody's in their head about a fire sign, trying to decide if they want to walk away from them because they put them in a third party situation. But some of you are going to have a great deal of celebration coming through. Somebody could be fighting or just had a fight with a, a fire sign in regards to a third party situation. You could have been married to this person or some type of uh, spiritual contract with them. They were very toxic too. And this could have been a twin flame that's doing, doing you dirty. But you felt balanced with them until you start finding out what the shit they was doing. They was throwing a lot of shade and lying on you to make themselves look good in regards to dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel like you're very intuitive also. There's, there was some type of tower moment. You chose to walk away or this person chose to walk away because I'm picking up the Eight of Cups. And that was down here too. I know it's there. But I'm picking it up again. Somebody could be walking away from a job to, to uh, keep another job because it pays more. You're going to be happy that you did. It's like spirits telling you to stay strong. Somebody's in their head a lot. Get out your head, honey. It's in regards to a soulmate. This person could be telling you that they'll give you everything your heart desires, marriage, stability. Somebody wants a family. I feel like a little girl. They're really pouring their heart out to you. But I keep, and this is a totally different deck and I see another Eight of Swords, which uh, Eight of Swords for me um, is someone in prison. Somebody's locked up in prison and you think you're in love with this person. But they playing games. I'm telling y'all, they playing games. And a lot of them, all they do is play games just to have somebody um, to lay up with or use their money financially. Want somebody to take care of them. Yeah. Y'all got some people that's going to backstab y'all. This is the Ten of Swords. And you exhausted with fighting. <laughs> yeah, somebody's about to move. They go to Eight of Wands, and there's some type of messages coming through for you guys. Anything else for my Cancer and Water signs? Anything else for my Cancer and Water signs? Thank you, Spirit. Some of y'all are really, how shall I say it? Choosing to nurture your spirituality instead of going towards someone. And some of you. Gifts are enhancing. I'm sorry, but this was in the reverse. Um, gifts are enhancing, but you're ignoring it. It's like you've been told intuitively what's really going on. A lot of you are doing a lot of reflection and studying. Some of you are paying attention to your intuition, like you're being guided about your gifts. Some of you don't want to, um, are not choosing to take a leap of faith in regards to your gifts. It's like you're scared of your gifts. And there's, I'm being told there's nothing to, um, to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. Anything else in regards to my Cancerians? Oh, wow. They're going to tend the swords again, y'all. Y'all better be careful. And I'm feeling like it's a, 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 I'm going to say it may be a water sign, but I'm feeling like somebody holding that emperor energy. It could be you or it could be this person that's going to stab you in your back. And the emperor is an Aries, okay? Yeah, I feel like you got, you can't see this. You got a lot of abundance coming through. You're also going to be pulling in a lot of people that want to be around you only for your finances, okay? So you need to be careful with that. Yeah, a lot of you own up to your gifts and some of you choosing not to even acknowledge them, but you can't, you can't like ignore them. I mean, you're getting downloads about things that's taking place. 
and on your, your arm. Guys are trying to teach you how to hone into it. And here it is again, somebody trying to figure out if they want to walk away from um, a water sign. Yeah. You guys got gifts that's telling you what you can do in regards to multiple business streams. You're being enlightened, but you're not even listening. So it's like you're going to miss the opportunity. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here go the seven of swords, the sneaky behavior. Somebody putting you guys in a third party situation. Why are you choosing to walk away? Somebody coming to really confess their love to you. Here go the two of pentacles again, three of pentacles. Like people could be juggling with people for financial reasons too. Some of you juggling two jobs and you're exhausted. Yeah, you're working really hard, but you can be getting sick. You're going to make yourself sick. You're working towards having a ten of cups with your um, uh, soulmate. Some of you ignoring your soulmate. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody from your past. I feel like somebody's getting, I don't know why everybody's getting kicked out. What is going on? There's a lot of stuff that's going to be in the dark that's going to be coming to light, you guys. People have it on. And I feel like these are on somebody that you with from your past. They could be cheating on you. You end up kicking them out or they kick you out because you're cheating on them and they're going to be in despair. You know, actually about another lover. People getting messages on their phone about their lover uh, cheating on them or them putting them in a third party situation. Somebody got somebody pregnant. Look, high mercy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys, you guys need to be careful. Yeah, because this is this, 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 this is ridiculous. This type of energy that's going around. And I feel like you guys, a lot of you are going to be walking away from people and just staying in harmony mode. Somebody going to have two marriage proposals. Two marriage proposals. All right now. <laughs> yeah, here goes this unclear on um, which business venture you want to go through. Somebody got somebody that's a trickster in their energy. You guys not need to have more self-love for yourself, too. Anything else for my cancer and water signs here? Anything else in regards to my cancer and water signs? Thank you. Yeah, somebody's a fucking mind manipulator. They be on bullshit all the time, playing games with y'all. This is an ex we trying to resurface. <laughs> that, maybe that. Anything else? Some type of shake up coming. And I feel like this is somebody that fucked over you. You've been called to have self love. Leave this person alone. Y'all got an ex lover that hates your ass. They two faced. They, I, I did say this, but this is a this is something I had this deck for a while and it was just regular playing cards and spirit led me to write certain things on them. But this is double confirmation. Someone from your past, this is a past lover coming in to apologize. That's double confirmation because I received that with the other deck. A lot of y'all working on y'all pentacles. That's double confirmation. But I feel like this confirmation is telling you to stay focused on it. A lot of you in a third party situation. Some of you know, some of you do not know. Some of you choosing to stay with a person who's married. Y'all gonna stop that shit because y'all gonna block y'all blessings. And for those of you who have a business, being in that third party, that, that wife or husband's gonna find out. And how you gonna suffer is your business gonna fail. A lot of you giving people luxury gifts without receiving the same in return. And I mean like the love and the unconditional, the unconditional love and affection. You giving it to them, but they're not giving it to you in return. So that should let you know, see, that this person is only using you. Yeah, hey, somebody's finna, oh wow, somebody's finna be gift a lot of gifts. Yep, stability, financial uh, blessings. Some, and here's com double confirmation of saving um, towards new businesses. Yeah, a lot of you going to be closing your heart out to people. Somebody's going to get divorced or separated too. Mm -mm. You guys, I got to get out of here. So I just want to give you cancerian some water signs. I'm cancerian. <laughs> Somebody's crying. Somebody viewing this video is crying right now because you know this resonates with you. Honey, look, you need if you need more in depth um, about your... 
personal situation, uh, reach out to me. Reach out to me, okay? And I'll give you a reading. If it's an emergency reason, I do charge $50 towards the um, original amount of my readings, okay? Um, love and light to you guys. And I'll be putting the Pisces um, and the Scorpios up later on this evening, okay? Love and light. Have a good night.